so we will start today with other some of the controls in the loop so which is we will study about first thing is break statement so we will learn about break and the next one is continue so these two are statement break and continue which tells that okay we should break from a for loop that is we should come out even if some iterations are left and the next one is continue which tells that okay if say this is the body so there are several lines of the code so please leave the part of the body of the for loop or any loop after the continue statements and restart the loop so go and go to the next iteration of the loop basically so we will see them with examples so the first one is that we have i is equal to 0 and i is still i is less than 1000 so we will be repeating this piece of code so let's see what happens so this is i is 0 i is getting incremented by just one so this loop should run basically we should see that it should run thousand times but what happens is that we have to see this line so it says that if i is equal to 10 then break so this means that if this condition in the if is true then you break that means you come out of the loop at that instant itself and you come out to the next line whatever is after the for loop so that's what we see happens if we see the output so we see 0 1 2 3 4 till 10 it is printed and after that what happens is that it could have gone till 1000 or 999 but what happens is that it stops here because the condition is met and the line break is executed so it comes out of the for loop so then it prints a new line so which goes to the next line so we will see now the new thing that is continue so we have continue so what does continue means now so let's see so this is the second body of the code of the for loop so we have if the condition if is i percentage 2 is equal to 0 we continue and what does this continue means that okay after this line we will not execute the rest part of the for loop body so it means that we see that okay if i is 1 so 1 percentage 2 which is remainder of 1 when it's divided by 2 is 1 which is not equal to 0 so we see that 1 is printed now we see i becomes 2 because of increment so 2 percentage 2 is 0 so hence it continues and so 2 is not printed so now i becomes 3 and 3 percentage 2 is 1 which is not 0 so it doesn't go to continue and prints 3 here similarly 5 7 so this prints the odd numbers so this is about continue so now we will look at some other loops so we will look now into while loop so what is while loop so in while loop what happens is we have to do the initialization beforehand itself and then while there is some condition test so while here i see that okay while i is less than 10 so i do printf percentage di so it will print so it starts from 0 1 2 3 and it will go on printing till i is less than 10 so it will go till 9 and when i becomes 10 so 10 is now not less than 10 so it will print till 9 so this is while loop is again very much similar to for loop so here there is some expression expression which is tested for truth and if it is true the body of the for while loop is executed 
so what happens now is this is the initialization part and this is the increment part which is happening in the body and the initialization is happening here before the file loop body the next come is what is called a do while so do the body and then while some condition so this says that okay for at least once whatever the body is there will be executed and then so what happens is we see that one modulo 5 is 1 2 modulo 5 is 2 so this will be executed till i is less than 10 so the only difference is here is that okay at least once this body will be executed and in the while loop it can happen that if i had put i is equal to 20 here so not no time the loop would have executed so this is about the continue and break statements then we learned about while loop and then about do while loop so this ends the lecture thanks a lot so please visit www.sorabschool.org to watch all the videos and please subscribe to our youtube channel thanks